I think I'm going to open this video with an anecdote about Philly cheesesteaks. One time, my friends were in an Uber, and the Uber said, well, not the Uber, but the Uber driver, like the car didn't talk, but the driver was like, so, where are you from? And my friend was like, Philly, because my friend's from Philly. And then the Uber driver went, okay, Philly, okay, Philly, Philly cheesesteak. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. This has been the introduction to today's video. I'm sorry and welcome. I don't know what it was about her hearing him say Philly to make her start yelling Philly things at him. I mean, she also, I think, said at one point, Rocky. Anyway, shouts out to her. This video is, you know who you are? Uh, well, here we go again with making something that I've never, ever, 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 ever either made or tried. And we're gonna do it my way, the type of way that you hear Kermit crying in the background. That's my style. That is my city. I've cornered the market on cooking videos with a background of crying dogs. It's an orchestra. Is he crying? Yes. Okay, Philly. Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. Rocky. 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 Did you show them these special guests? Jolene, come here. This is not my dog. Oh. I got a new sous chef. Yeah, will you help me be in the kitchen? Or are you gonna get fired like the last sous chef? This is Jolene. It's our friend Jay Cyrus's dog. She's just so precious, but she's actually a worm. She's very hard to hold on to, which makes me think she would not be a great sous chef. Because if she were to take some of the ingredients and I try to grab her, she's gone. I think that this recipe, the Philly cheesesteak, is a recipe that I think is very simple in nature, but especially people who are from Philly will say that it has to be done a very, very particular way uh, in order to be a real cheesesteak. Now, in the limited research that I've done on the Philly cheesesteak, there's a lot of people that are very passionate about the sandwich. I found out that there's sort of two different ways to make it, and they're very similar. They're the cheese and the, the steak and then the, the roll but the cheese is different and the toppings are a little different on the two kinds. One is it's the cheesesteak with like provolone melted on top of it on the grill with some green peppers and onions and that's that. And then the other comes with the cheesesteak by itself and then on top they add sort of like a cheesy cheese whiz style sauce. And I've actually, my friend who I'm talking about from Philly, Jason, the one responsible for the cornbone video, I think he told me one time that cheese whiz is the only real way to make a Philly cheesesteak. That's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be making two different versions of the Philly cheesesteak, uh, both of which are gonna be my first Philly cheesesteak ever, and I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna eat probably all of it. It's gonna be delicious, but we gotta get there first. So join me on this journey to Philly and uh, let's make something delicious today, huh? 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 Bye. I got a food brush. Are you proud? I had written down all the ingredients for this marinade and then all of a sudden my phone is gone. So, well, I guess I don't have a phone anymore, but I think I remembered most of them or all of them, hopefully all of them. For a big shocker today, we're gonna be using some Beyond uh, ground beef because I don't really have a ton of options when it comes to steak, at least gluten-free vegan steak. So we are gonna take this and we're gonna marinate it to hopefully make it taste a little more like steak and less like ground beef, or more importantly, Beyond Burgers. So we are gonna marinate this with a homemade julienne made up marinade, and the quantities for these will vary, so just kinda do what you will. We're gonna do, I would say, like a third of a cup of soy sauce, a nice generous dash of Worcestershire, olive oil, and some onion powder. We are gonna also use a bit of garlic, we are gonna use the MSG from last week, the uh, umami one, just cause I think that'll add a little bit of nice little flavor to it. A generous, 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 AKA a lot of cracked black pepper. Okay, I'm still here. A nice healthy pinch of salt. Okay, a couple things that are important are yellow mustard seed and some ground white pepper. We're just gonna kinda mix this up and Pretty simple, I mean, we're gonna marinate it. And you're gonna want to get all the little pockets of air out of this bag so that we can evenly coat and get it really kind of infused inside there so the flavor sticks. 
And this is gonna be our Philly cheesesteak steak. So we're gonna let this marinate for, are you ready for this? 24 hours. If you have to do it less, go for it. I don't even know if this is gonna work. This is all gonna be a big science experiment. So if you marinate it for one hour, it might honestly be even better than mine. So who knows if this is even gonna work, but I'm gonna try to marinate it for an entire day and then we proceed. All right, well, after marinating the beef for 24 hours, we are gonna now take it from the fridge and stick it in the freezer for like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, just so it can get a firm consistency to slice, because we kind of want the pieces of beef to be more sliced than ground. So we're gonna do our best for that. While we wait for that to firm up, we are going to start by getting ourselves a cup of white potatoes and carrots that I sliced before starting recording. So they've started to brown just a little bit. And we are gonna boil some water because this is gonna be used for our cheese sauce, for the cheese whiz style Philly cheesesteak, not the provolone style. I am going to be making a modified Lauren Toyota Hot for Food nacho cheese sauce. I'm gonna take out the jalapeno and I'm gonna add some sharp cheddar to kind of give it that like, almost like processed flavor, cause that's kind of what we want. Anyway, while we have our water heating up, we are going to chop our green bell peppers because you absolutely need these if you're making a Philly cheesesteak, according to every single video I watched. We wanna leave decent sized pieces because we want them to have kind of their own presence in the bite of the final sandwich. All right, so I'm going to portion this up so we have enough for both sandwiches here. What should we call the one with cheese whiz? Let's just call it the Philly cheesesteak whiz. Philly cheese whiz steak, I don't know. So these are gonna be our more diced white onion. This is gonna go on the cheese whiz one. We want this to be nice and finely diced. And then we're just gonna kinda peel off the rest of this white onion. Make sure you don't cry about it, okay? This is gonna get a little emotional. This is sort of like the street food style of onion. We don't want it to be too chopped or too diced. You know, this is kind of what you would find, I think, on the provolone version of our sandwich here. Well, our water has started boiling, so we are gonna put our potatoes and carrots to soften up in there for our cheese. And dude, we are like, we're getting there. This recipe ain't too bad. So like I said, I'm gonna be making my own cheese, cheesy sauce, the yellow cheese. Here we have some oil, nooch, oat milk, tomato paste, arrowroot starch. We have some of Miyoko's cheese wheel. This is gonna be giving us more of the tang that we're looking for. Behind us, we have the carrots and potatoes finishing up. And we are gonna blend all those together and kind of do it to taste a little bit. If I feel like it needs a little more of the tang, we'll add more of the cheese wheel. If it needs more just cheesy texture, we'll add more nooch, et cetera, et cetera. So we have our potatoes and carrots. Those are gonna go in first. Then we will add our nooch, our oil, tomato paste, oat milk, arrowroot starch, maybe a little more oat milk. Oh, first we're gonna sp spill some milk just to make sure we have at least one mess for the video. And I'm gonna start small. I'm gonna start with a little piece of the cheese wheel and add slowly, because it might be really strong. And here we go. I think this is exactly what we need it to be. It tastes very similar to what I had hoped we would get. So the magical cheese is finished. Now it's kind of the easy part. We just gotta grill up the steak, put it on a bun, go to the top of the Rocky steps and shout, Rocky! Okay, we're gonna take our new Cascadia rolls, which we have from the lobster episode. I luckily got sent extras, so I'm very grateful. Slice them open, and in celebration of me now having a food brush, we are going to use it by just putting some butter on the inside of our roll, because that never, ever upset anybody. So we're gonna take some butter, put it on the inside of the roll, and just put it face down on the griddle. Oh, this is good. This is gonna be so good. Are you guys kidding me right now? Why'd you guys tell me to do this? I got so many comments asking me to, to do this. I don't understand why, because I'm gonna eat this, right? Like, I'm, it's gonna, I'm gonna take a big old bite at the end. Is your mouth watering yet? Because mine is. Okay, as much as I thought I could pull this off, mimicking steak, it's not gonna happen. This is our marinated and not really frozen at all Philly cheesesteak. 
we're really just gonna, it's like, this is the simple part right here, is we are going to pan fry with a little bit of vegetable oil, these green peppers, these beautiful green peppers, by the way. I mean, so green. I don't know, I just wanted to point that out. I appreciate that. We're gonna do the long cut vegetables and then the diced vegetables. And then we're gonna put our steak on the pan and we're just gonna get things cooking now. You know, it's just gonna get cooking and nice. So here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Here we go. This is our <laughs> this is our Philly cheese steak. Choice choice meat. Philly cheese steak. Philly. Okay, Philly. Rocky, Rocky. Rocky. We're gonna put some provolone on in the pan. That's the Philly cheese steak way. I think our buns are getting nice and toasted. All right, this is gonna be our traditional Philly cheese steak. If you're ready for it, I don't know if you're ready for it. And we're gonna now put our onions and peppers. Philly cheese steak number one. Now for number two, we're just gonna put some of the beef inside here. Use a little bit of peppers and onions, not as much. Now it is time to put some of our cheese. This is the special vegan cheese whiz. And damn, that looks good. I'm actually not sure how happy you guys are gonna be about this last part, but I think per tradition on the Cheese Whiz Philly cheesesteak, we're supposed to put a little bit of ketchup. We have made ourselves two insanely delicious looking Philly cheesesteaks. One I would say is the more traditional and then the other, the real way to do it. I don't know. Anyway, here we are, our two Philly cheesesteaks. Is it time? Philly cheesesteak. Here we have the traditional, I think traditional Philly cheesesteak with the provolone and the peppers and onions, nothing else, keep it simple. And this is the one with the cheese whiz and a little ketchup. Which one would you like to try first? I don't care, put one of them in my mouth. Okay. Bite? Yeah, take a bite. Why do I get to taste it before you? Cause that's how, I guess that's what this is now. <laughs> Jenna's tasting channel. I love those, food too. <laughs> What's it taste like? <laughs> the cheese is definitely like that yellow cheese, but it's better than cheese whiz cause it's not like, Thick and canned, like cheese. Yeah, yeah. It's so tasty though. Can I try it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind? Get off my tasting channel. That's really good. Yeah, can you tell about how fast we're eating it? Now I'm gonna try the Philly cheesesteak with the provolone. How's that? Oh my God. That one is good. Had a steak and cheese. That is what a steak and cheese tastes like. That's how I imagined a Philly cheesesteak tasting. That tastes so good. Holy crap. Yeah, that's it. This is it. This one's it, Chief. This tastes like a Philly cheesesteak. Me, steak. sorry, Jason. <laughs> Isn't that what Jason's so adamant what a Philly cheesesteak is? I think that's what he said. This one is so good. The one with the provolone. I mean, this one is good, like you said. This one tastes really yummy. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It just tastes like you can get that anywhere. This tastes like specific to what a Philly cheesesteak should be. It's the provolone. It's the provolone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the meat held up well. It doesn't taste like burger. No, it's really good. I mean, like the marinade worked. It's not steak, but yeah. like it's the texture, the flavor, everything is just so good. All right. Well, I think we did it to him Philly style. Now all we got to do is yell <laughs> Philly cheesesteak. Rocky, Rocky. Rocky. Why is Google talking to us? Dude, we did Philly cheesesteaks. This is my first ever one I've ever had. And it kind of came out like banging. The second one I've ever had. I think I had one in college. But I wasn't super into it because Buffalo. Oh, did you go to college in Philly? I didn't know that. No. Oh, Philly cheesesteak? <laughs> Rocky. Rocky. Wait, you went to college in Philly? Rocky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they both came out really good in my opinion, but. If you want to make an authentic Philly cheesesteak, at least in my opinion, and I am from California, lower <laughs> Southern California, make this one. Mm. This one's insanely good. That one is it. It is so good. You can have the rest of this one. No. Yeah, it's yours. I'm proud of us. This is another first time meal for me, and I think we kind of knocked it out of the park. Shouts out to fucking 
Philly for being doing their thing, you know? Just congrats on everything. Shouts out to that Uber driver, man. You, dude, you've made so many people laugh. I never went to Uber driver. Okay, then. Well, we're gonna slowly pass out as we eat both of these sandwiches, I guess, now. Thank you guys for watching. If you're from Philly, this one was for you. If you're not from Philly, this one was not for you. You cannot have it. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys want me to cook next, and I'll be back with some nonsense very soon, so you won't miss me. I was having a moment with my cheesesteak. Aw. Are you gonna tip your uh, your chef? Do oh. I get do I get a tip? No. Please can I have a tip. Did you just wipe your cheese on my hand? Fuck it.